It's Monday. Good morning. It's Monday again. Monday. How's your Monday going? You're not, especially for those of us who live down in this part of the country, are, are you wet? Are you still soggy? <laughs> it's been raining for like, I don't know, like six years? At least four to five days it has. In a row. Continuously. And not, and we don't get just like rain, you know, no, and then gets no. a pattern that no. It comes down like the world's coming to an end. Mm -hmm. you know, it gets dark like a hurricane and and, and and sometimes it rains harder during non hurricanes than it does during actually doing a hurricane, which is really mm -hmm. funny. And we get more wind during a hurricane, but we you know, we get more rain at times like like in the past, so er, er, everything's wet, everything's soggy, everything's mushy. You know, you got. I gotta go out and spray some of the dirt off the house because it's splashed up from the from the ground. It's and the walkway is green. The walkway to the car is absolutely green because of it stayed it stayed wet. <laughs> it stayed wet for three weeks. Anyway, uh, we're back, and uh, this is our second week back from family reunion. What? I think so. Yeah, it's our second week back from family reunion, and uh, it is a for, for for us a quote normal. Normal week, whatever, whatever the heck that is. Thanks everybody for popping in. <clears throat> and um, when Deb and I, uh, we, we do this like we do dinner. So why do you want half a dinner? <laughs> <laughs> and I go, I don't know. Why do you want half a dinner? Why do you want half a dinner? Um, we sometimes do subjects like this, and it is interesting because I, you know, and, and are watching television or YouTube or just walking around in our, in our regular life. Um, well, we wonder, what concept do people have of marriage? And some of it is kind of warped, what people it's think. jacked up. It's absolutely jacked up. And, and it's sad to say that uh, it's probably why a lot of people aren't married, because they have the wrong conception of what goes on in a marriage. And you can live with somebody, I don't care what you say, you can live with someone, um, cohab you know, cohabitate without shut, marriage. Shut up. And it's different. I hate him, but, you know, because I can't. It but. is different than being actually married. I don't know what it is about that <laughs> signing the paperwork, and the, and the, but it, uh, I do know what it is. Well, t well hang, hang on, because cause, cause, cause it will happen to us. Um those of those of you who 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 have known us since the very beginning uh, knew that um, Deb and I um, cohabitated yes. uh, before we uh, had before we had our official nuptials, and um, and we've never tried to hide that uh, because it happened, and not and not that we will tell anybody that it is the that correct you should do that, that is the correct way to do no, it. It is not. Um, <laughs> however. And and we, and we told you at the beginning of this whole process, just because we did it doesn't mean that we were endorsing our own behavior, all of our own behavior. But we knew that that day when we left the apartment, mm -hmm. and y'all went, I don't know where y'all went. I still don't know where y'all went. It's been 30, 30, 31 years. I don't know where y'all went. Uh, <laughs> but I went to the place to, to, to set it up. And we got back, and we got back in the apartment to wait for your friend Marie. To bring that damn toaster. That we all uh, Which we already had. I love you, Marie. <laughs> but we had one. I don't know if she knows. We had one already. <laughs> Just like the one y'all guys bought. <laughs> and we had, them we had them toasters for 25 years. Yes, we had them a long time. Uh, uh, but um, it was different. And 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 as I was... Uh, as we renewed our vows again um, in 17... We realize that what the what it is, it's a spiritual thing. Because even though I've been married to him <laughs> for 31 years now, when we renewed our vows, it, you know, that day I was nervous like I had, was getting married again. And, and my pastor's wife was like, what's wrong? You know, and I was just nervous. And I've been with this man for for over 30 some years because we were together like 33 really 34 or something like that but it's a spiritual thing when you even when you exchange those vows and you make that commitment to somebody it it changes 
the aspect of your relationship. And I, although I say it all the time to, to people now, you know, why get married? Why get married with people, you know, they always, <laughs> they end up getting divorced and all the, so many issues come up, but it you it's a spiritual thing. It changes your relationship. So even if you're cohabitating and you decide you're going to get married, it's going to change it to a different level for the good. Now, let me give you some insight into that day. Uh, Debbie was, she just said she was, she was nervous. Now, we drove from our house together in the car. We got ready here in the house and drove over there in the car and took the stuff and we were sitting and waiting for people in a church that we had been in hundreds of times. Hundreds of times. Now, as people got there and we got ready to, to get started, Debbie went off to down the down the, down the little hallway, and I went room. and we started. The, the, we'd all been in a hundred times, uh, and and we started the, and we and we started the ceremony. And I and I stood up with Pastor um, in a place that I did, I've done praise and worship a thousand times. And then when Deb came around the corner, now remember I had just seen her minutes ago. We drove there together. I started to cry. <laughs> I started to cry. <laughs> and, and Pastor was like, are, are you okay? I was like, yes. <laughs> I started to cry. Because it is a spiritual thing that, that takes everything to the next level. And I think that's why some people don't make it through. Like some people make don't make it through the first year and they want to get divorced. Because <laughs> it's different. Because it is different. Like Kardash Kim Kardashian being married 72 days. 73 days or something like that. <sighs> we what, won't go there. What the hell is wrong with those people? But anyway, excuse me. <laughs> but it, it it's because it's a spiritual exchange. That's why, and we, this is a whole nother area, but I won't go there. But that's why having intercourse with someone is you know it changes the whole aspect and the he doesn't call you back again or she don't <laughs> want to talk to you again yeah. or something after the very first time that you do it because it's all a spiritual thing that's why god made god made marriage and and and, and sexual contact to be so it, it it's more important than people take it. It's very people take it way too lightly. Yeah, and then and, and and which is interesting, they, they they take it lightly, and then they don't understand why it change. It always changes the nature of the relationship. It always changes the nature of the relationship for the good or for <laughs> it's going it's going to change because of its intensity because of of, of the spiritual connection that either you have or you're supposed to have that you don't have now. Uh, that you stepped out in in an area that was that you were never supposed to step out in, um, so it it it's 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 truly something that people shouldn't take like lightly, and people don't 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 understand. A lot of people either they understand it or refuse to understand it because they look at what other people are doing, the sin of comparison, and say, well, everybody else is doing it. And I think when when I hear everybody else is doing, I think, what are you twelve? Excuse me, I thought I was kicking my kicking my guitar. Up. Um, I was like, what are you, 12 years old? Yeah. <laughs> All my other friends are doing it, Mom. So why can't I? Because, first of all, you're not them. <laughs> and you don't have to. So I think that's it. That, 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 if you have that mentality that everybody else is doing it, then that should tell you immediately that you're not mature enough to. Yeah. <laughs> that should be the click in your head that says, if, I'm not ready if, if your first thought is, well, everybody's doing it, that should tell you right away that you're not ready for it because you're not really making that those decisions on your own. That you're being led around still by peer pressure, like you're a kid. So this, the sexual part of the relationship is extremely important and not to be taken lightly. Um, our, 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 our society wants people to think of that, that part is just whatever it is. Um, but I'm here to tell you that I think that part of the divorce rate um, among Christians and non-Christians is about the same, because it's about the same. That's the saddest commentary, um, that it's about the same. So I think that, and, it is and it, 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 it's sad, and I think it's be, a lot of it is because they misuse or don't really take to heart the, the, the sexual part. 
of the of uh, you know what of uh, of the relationship. So <clears throat> that's why it's better to wait until you, it's better to wait until you get married. It's just better, and I'm not being an old and, I, and I'm oh I'm not being a fuddy duddy because I'm hardly a fuddy duddy. Yeah, I'm not a fuddy duddy. We're not fuddy duddies, and we did not wait. So I can tell you from experience, <laughs> we 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 are ta- coming from, um, and we want to to save people from the the pitfalls of what else hey, Jeff. we have been through. Yeah, you know, it's in, 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 like, like I said a minute ago, we didn't do everything right. We are not the perfect couple by any stretch of the imagination in the sense that we didn't do everything right. We didn't check off every single box. Um, but we, what we've been able to do is we've been able to, to do some introspection in our own relationship. And then we were able to watch. We've been, we've got the <clears throat> either the, I don't know, the, the blessing or the curse of watching other people. I've just not not comparing ourselves to them, but watching other people and looking at consequences of good behavior and not so good behavior. We get to see where they may have screwed it up. So, and you remember those things, negative and positive, to improve the quality of your own relationship. Yes. You can watch other people make mistakes or listen to what other like us the mistakes that we've made and and you can avoid them but sometimes you have to learn on your own yeah that's that is the worst and that's the tough that's way. the worst way mm-hmm. learning by your own experiences is the, is the absolute worst way uh, learning by somebody else's mistakes is really the smartest way is paying attention and going yeah somebody who, shouldn't do that and and just and just because somebody has survived it doesn't mean that I think that it's a good thing for you to do. Just because just cause we survived it doesn't mean anything. Yes, we survived all the things that we're telling people not to do. We survived it. Bob, and I think we survived by the grace of God so we could tell, for, so 30, 30 years later we could tell you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we go. you go through things for a reason. And so, in saying that, what... Or what do single people think? Yeah, marriage is about. Well, I think the 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 dominant culture believes that marriage is about partnership and 50 50, 50, 50. and teamwork and all that stuff that they hear in popular culture. Mm-hmm. Uh, pfft, that always makes me laugh. That always makes me laugh. Because marriage is hardly about any of that stuff. As somebody who's been married for for, for a while, uh, like my friend Jeff Bloom, I believe he and his wife just celebrated their twenty something. If didn't you, Jeff? If you're still out there. But anyway, um, so I think that that that's not what it is at all. Is it you change? First of all, you think that you're going to bring something, and then you're going to say the same. That you're going to bring something else, and then you're going to say the same. And what's going to happen is you bring your fifty, and he you bring your fifty, 50. and then it stays the same, and then you get the benefit from that. So how it works? You're both going to change. You're both going to that. The whole thing is going to be like a like a caterpillar, like a caterpillar going into um, this little thing cocoon, cocoon. and hopefully, and in, in, in some time, if your marriage is successful, you're going to come out being something else entirely different. And I think that that's where people get afraid because. Now they now they're entirely different than they used to be. Mm-hmm. They're not the same at all because you're not going to be. Because if you're doing exactly what you were doing before you got married, then you're doing it wrong. So you're going if to. If you ch- haven't grown over the years, then something's not right. Something's not right. You're going to change, and marriage is a lot about change. It's it's, it's a lot about growing. It's a lot about changing, and you're going to. Sorry, if you thought that you're perfect as you are, because you because your sweetheart said that oh you're just perfect just like you are. <laughs> That's going to be a problem because you're not going to because you're not going to be that forever. And I hear uh, people that going through counseling and all this stuff. They always say, "Well, you're not the same person that I fell in love with." Well, I hope he's not the same person that I fell in love with. <laughs> Uh, 30 some years ago, ago because that person was 
immature. I was different. <laughs> I was different. I was angry all the time and immature and hot headed and all and all and all those th- and all those things that that I've grown out of. So good thing. I don't even know if I'd be alive if I was the same person <laughs> then. I mean, just, I don't know. Probably not. Well, I, I, so you grow that. You mean you grow that part of your brain, guys, especially. We grow that part of our brain that deals with consequence, that frontal cortex. As we get as, as we get older, so you're going to change because because con- consequence starts to matter, and especially consequence now because whatever you do is going to affect somebody else. And that's the responsibility that a lot of, that a lot of young men either don't understand or don't want. Not only does it affect your spouse, but if you have children in the in the relationship, it's going to affect them, and and it spirals down to all you know your friends and different people within your 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 group. Um, it affects everybody. So when you get mature enough, and, and you know, some people, we never mature totally. <laughs> just, just seem, it seems that way. It seems that they but never get it. As you, as we mature, then you're going to realize, you know, well, what, what, what are the, is my being happy just for this little reason worth me destroying everybody's life? Is it really worth it? Um, you think about whether, you know, am I really going to be happy to the point that it will be worth, um, destroying the person that I say I love and the people that we created because of quote that love and, um, and your friends around you and, 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 you know, there's so many different aspects that, that affect. Uh, and and for an example, um, some friends of ours that in in the neighborhood here had a relationship fail in the last what six months or so. Yeah, it's been a lot longer, man. Oh, the beginning of the year it okay. happened. Okay. So we found out that 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 when we found out you know, when it became common knowledge. Mm-hmm. I think you mean you know you know about neighborhood common knowledge, right? <laughs> even even if because frankly, even if you don't dip. You see, and you find out. Mm-hmm. Because we didn't really dip. We just happened to see, and then the other neighbor just told us. <laughs> and, and then you find out, wait a minute, where's, so, where's so-and-so? Oh, so-and-so's not going to be there. But eventually we found out. Actually, we found out from from one of the one of the people in the relationship actually told, told the whole story eventually. Well, not the whole story, but, but told us eventually. So it isn't like we... It isn't like we were like we were running around doing gossiping. Gossip place. <laughs> no, but, um, but she told us the the relationship failed, and they and they had been in a relationship for almost twenty years. So, and I don't know because actually it was twenty years. Good. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was it was almost it was I think it was seventeen eighteen years, mm-hmm. but a long time. But and I don't know, but we always you, you always have to wonder. What happens after 20 years? And it's like we've said in our previous videos, it's usually an expectation doesn't get met early. Mm-hmm. Some expectation doesn't get met because people have this, have a, a weird sense of what it's supposed to be like. What, what this marriage thing is supposed to be like, there's this weird conception of what it's supposed to be like. And that doesn't get, and that doesn't get met. Um, because it, because it, it it gets covered up in fantasy and it doesn't get doesn't get painted in reality. It doesn't get dealt with because if you're feeling a certain way about your relationship or thing, you know, you're feeling something about that person, you got to talk about it. You you got to bring it to the light and talk about it and deal with it instead of just letting it sit there and then the next week. Oh, you did it. And then, then, then the next time it comes up, and then it happens again, and you don't deal with it. You don't say anything, but you go to a friend and you talk to them about it. Mm-hmm. Hey, Paul. 
and then you go to some, some someone else and you talk about it. But which is what we advise you, you not to do. But then you're here. <laughs> we advise this you person, not to do this person that you in the relationship with. You never said anything to them, and then before you know it, you <coughs> you. <clears throat> brought, brought up a, a whole different relationship with someone else because you're talking about this person and maybe they have a you know a spouse and they're not happy with them and stuff and you would say well we're just friends we have lunch together we we just <laughs> we just talk I just see him at the coffee shop when I go by and you know and we just chat and then it just goes from on and on and on and on and on. And then you're at the no-tell motel doing a, doing a wild monkey dance with somebody who's just a friend. But you see, he's just a friend. <laughs> Sorry. I, 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 I had a moment. Come back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. But it, it, that's how it turns into something. So, you know, it hurts sometimes when you... You, when what your partner is doing annoys you or gets to you or whatever like that. But before it gets to a point to where you have to take it to somewhere else and talk with somebody else, are you feeling, you know, depressed about it and all this stuff? Just deal with it because it's going to hurt more if you don't deal with it while while you're in it. And, it's, and, and, and I understand that 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 can be tough. Um it's very hard because what you have to do, you have to do a couple things. You have to decide is whatever that is, is it worth the relationship? Something. And again, if you go through the course of our hundred plus videos um, that we've done here on Facebook and on YouTube, uh, which are the same videos actually, so I'm talking like I, we've done two hundred, we've only done a couple hundred. Um, but if you go through that course, what we find out is that I always say the same thing: is whatever it is worth relationship? So if you talk about it, hey, hey, Rebecca, is so if you talk about it, then your partner has to has to say the thing that I'm doing is it or not doing is that worth the relationship? Everyone has to decide whatever the behavior is, is it worth the relationship? And that's you have to decide if it bothers you enough to be worth the relationship or if it of you if you continuing to do it is worth the relationship or not. So but then at least the, your partner gets to decide. Mm hmm. As opposed to getting hit over the head later, you know, 20 years later with this thing that's gone on forever. And then you're just so over it that, that there's no way to, there's no, no, there's no, no way to come you back. back. You can't, you can't bring them back. You can't put because the genie back in the bottle. Because it's been too, too long. It's been released too long. And if you deal with it when it first starts to happen, it's just a little small. It's just a little molehill. That's all it is, a little molehill. And if you deal with it, and 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 push it back down, give that little mole a little poison, push it back down. It it's it's clear. As opposed to now, you've got Mount Everest still to, to decline because of all the other ancillary hurts and pains and that frustrations have come into that and hill. other people that have shown up now in a situation. Now you've got a lot to unpack. When before it was just a thing, just a thing that you might have been able to, to, to take care of, to take care of early. Yeah, so sooner sooner is